In an incredible victory for progressives, Justice Democrat and Black Lives Matter activist Cori Bush, who's a nurse, a community advocate, who, who was once homeless with two children, defeated Lacey Clay last night, a dynasty centrist Democrat whose family has represented Missouri's first district for over half a century. So this is yet another major win for progressive insurgents in Democratic primaries in largely blue districts after Jamal Bowman defeated El Elliot Engel in June, Mondaire Jones coming out of a crowded primary in New York, Marie Newman taking down Dan Lipinski earlier this year, and now this amazing news. Uh, here's an excerpt of her talking to local news after her win. I've been fighting for black lives for a long time since the streets of Ferguson, and people have seen me continuously carry that on. Even now with George Floyd and Breonna Taylor uh, protests, people are saying we want an active leader that we know um, will fight for us. What's your vision going forward here? Yeah, so it's all about, first of all, equity, you know, so whether it's um, equity in education, equity in health care. Um, but it's also when we talk about defund the police, I support defund the police as a reallocation of funds. You know, not as not as taking money from our police, but just as a reallocation, because I don't believe we need money for tear gas. We need money to make sure that our unhoused population is off the streets like so that it's just a reallocation of funds to make sure that all of our people are taken care of. I want to represent each and every person um, in this district. It's just amazing. Corey is so strong and I'm not just talking about overcoming past experiences. I'm talking about in her fight for the people. She's a fighter and you're going to be hearing her name for a really long time and she's not going to cave. It reminds me kind of um, about Ocasio-Cortez, but also really Ilhan Omar, who's just so strong in everything she does, epitomizes female strength and progressive advocacy. I mean, Corey stands for all the right things here. So she uh, and her in her platform is in favor of Medicare for all. She's in favor of tuition free colleges and universities, major police reform, campaign finance reform, raising the minimum wage to a living wage, abolishing ICE, criminal justice reform, legalizing marijuana. I mean, on top of all that, too, though, she's that strong of a person. She has a great story and the odds were so stacked against her when she was running up against Clay, because he's been entrenched in that district for so long. Her story, on top of her being the, that great of a progressive, is also awesome. Bush was among the original Justice Democrat recruits in 2018, but lost her first challenge by 20 points. A registered nurse and pastor, she made a second run this cycle, again with the backing of Justice Democrats, the progressive group best known for recruiting Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. It is historic that this year of all years, we are sending a black working class single mother who's been fighting for black lives since Ferguson all the way to the halls of Congress, Bush said in a victory speech. Bush's win is monumental in a number of ways. Unlike Jamal Bowman, she did not have the luxury of an opponent who fled his district and told a hot mic that he only wanted to speak at a Black Lives Matter rally because he had a primary to worry about. Clay did not remotely take Bush for granted, launching a full-scale negative campaign to try to take her down and has been focused on her as a threat since her loss to him in 2018. He is a fixture of the community and his father, Bill Clay Sr., a civil rights activist and co-founder of the Congressional Black Caucus, have continuously held the seat since the 1960s. Clay's defeat is also ominous for incumbent Democrats as he was hammered at home by an outside anti-monopoly group for his work with the financial industry to undo an Obama-era piece of Wall Street reform. Clay has played a leading role in casting Justice Democrats as flatly racist in its willingness to challenge members of, congressional, of the Congressional Black Caucus and Ocasio-Cortez as an incumbent has been under intense pressure not to get behind primary challengers to her colleagues and only backed Bowman after Engel's hot mic moment. No sitting member of the House backed Bush. Jamal Bowman, however, rallied for her. Two things there. I'm very disappointed that Ocasio-Cortez did not back Cori Bush. I understand that it's hard when you are an incumbent and these are your colleagues. It's a different dynamic. I get it. There has been a shift. We should just note that, okay? And no other member of the squad also endorsed Cori Bush. But Ocasio-Cortez had a different relationship with Bush because they were friends from both being depicted and knocked down the house. And AOC's talked about Cori Bush being her friend. Didn't endorse her. Jamal Bowman did. A little easier. He's not in Congress yet. Still. Now, I am so goddamn sick 
of the narrative that if you're challenging a member of Congress who is black, but it doesn't matter how conservative they are, you're a racist. So Justice Democrats, they're racist for Jamal Bowman, who is black, unseating Elliot Engel. By the way, the, the Congressional Black Caucus backed Engel, a white man, over Jamal Bowman. <gasps> are the Congressional Black Caucus members racist? Do they hate black men? I mean, you could play this game over and over again. Cory Bush is a black woman going up against a black man. Is Lacey Clay, is he a sexist? In addition to backing the Congressional Black Caucus, who pushed for a white man over a black man in New York. Wow, toxic. It's so disingenuous. It's a terrible, terrible playbook. It's weaponizing real issues of sexism, racism in order to achieve your own cynical political ends and it's gross. And I'm happy beyond belief that Cori Bush defeated someone who not only needed to go, but was willing to use that kind of playbook, that kind of disgusting tactic to go after progressive insurgents who are just trying to make the world a better place.